my name is Shannon Palou. I'm an artist, a curator, a gallerist, and a graphic designer, amongst many other things, but those professionally describe me. I have an art gallery around the corner from Stretch on uh, Main Street at Pender. Um, I don't just show my artwork, I show artwork of uh, other artists that I know and love. I'm from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Uh, I grew up there and lived there until my mid-teens, and then I've lived all over Canada since then. I moved to Vancouver in 2005. I was pulled out here by uh, some friends who uh, were working in the music industry, and I had been looking for work in Montreal, and my French is not great. <laughs> so I was having a lot of trouble. And uh, a friend of mine got me a job or uh, offered me a job at a record label here in Vancouver. And it was one of my first jobs as a graphic designer, so um, I just couldn't say no. I feel like I've always made art, though I can sort of pinpoint one moment, and that was in high school, when I was doing a lot of sketching and uh, I drew a picture of Sebastian Bach, <laughs> that, uh, I don't know if it, anyway, 80s reference. Um, and a lot of my friends really loved it and they started getting me to do pi pictures of the, the uh, pop stars that they loved and various other uh, figures in graphite and realizing, hey, people like this thing that I can do. Maybe I should explore this more. And I think that's when my, a switch flipped on in my brain and I thought everything is art everything can be art and I really just started to look at the world that way I'm working on uh, work for a solo show actually at this gallery which is my gallery uh, in July um, and it's a very comprehensive body of work that has involved painting cross stitch I've just taught myself how to cross stitch for this piece. Uh, some sculpture. Uh, there may even be some audio for this um, installation that I'm having in July, and that's called Watersheds. I think my biggest influence right now is my granddaughter because she's five, and the way she approaches art and creativity is just so innate and uh, natural for her. I have been working hard to loosen up my uh, painting style and drawing style for years, and she's a master. Hmm. I think the, the correlation between art and yoga, for me at least, is the kind of flow that you get into. Um, when I'm having a really great uh, yoga session, it's a similar kind of mental space that I'm in when I'm uh, creating an art piece that I really love. I've known Boyd and Emmanuel for years, socially. Um, when they first opened Stretch, I was ecstatic because the space is beautiful and what a lovely place to practice yoga and, uh, and just be uh, overall. And Emmanuel expressed an interest in uh, adorning the walls with uh, some of my work. So we had um, an art show here. It was a solo art show in the I guess it was probably maybe a year after they opened um, and it was fantastic. I loved it. I think the first word that comes to mind when I think of Stretch is community because it really is just a group of wonderful people amongst the staff, the owners, and just everyone who seems to find themselves at Stretch. The best way to keep track of what I'm doing is to follow me on Instagram uh, at Shannon Palou or at my websites, which are shannonpalou.com and thisgallery.org.